screen up. I can. We should. Awesome. Yeah. So we've got that whole Eero how to make work uh, work from home work for you. But we'll start it off with just a quick question. What's the only type of joke that you can tell during a quarantine? <laughs> See, I knew Pete would say something. I, I, I hope this is a clean one, but I don't. We don't know, Pete. What is it? Inside jokes, Gary. Inside jokes. <laughs> so that's, we're all working from home, just inside jokes. So, all right. Uh, I had to start it off with a funny. I appreciate my nine-year-old a great deal. So, folks, there's a handful of things that we can do during this chat. The first one is, if you'll take a look at the chat box, there's something called the Zoom group chat. I have the lovely and talented Jeff Miller, um, who uh, has got the keystrokes of a, of a uh, keyboardist, um, but he's happy to answer questions. I was going to say uh, Ray Charles, but that wouldn't <laughs> make sense. So, Jeff's able to answer questions coming through. Um, there's never a bad time to ask a question. Understand though that we're on a webinar, so the responses may be muted. Your best effort at the very end of the slide, there's going to be some contact phone numbers um, that are there, email addresses. If you're not getting the in depth answer that you're looking for, be, feel free to email any and all of us. Um, also, candy grams work out really, really well. Have I mentioned that we're in quarantine? Um, so, we've got the whole home, how to make work from home work for you. And I got to tell you, this couldn't be a more important time for you guys to log in. So I really appreciate everybody taking time out of their day to come through. Um, but there's some simple truths that we want to talk about today. And that's that we're here for you. It's not just on webinars and things like that. You know, the, the Snap AV crew has been absolutely fantastic for both Jeff and I. Um, we're here. We're working. Um, and we want to be able to support you in a big, big way. Um, you know, we're, we're here to support the Pro Channel through these evolving times, and they really are. I mean, you know, I'm here in Southern California. I don't know where you're at um, in, the, in the world, but this is a big opportunity for us all to kind of change our business, to go back to some of the smaller jobs, and also to look for, for some additional opportunities. The good news is, is that products are still shipping, and not every brand is saying that. Um, right now, not every category is saying that. Um, but networking right now is up, and it was up even prior to how things have changed. Um, but the good news is that we're in stock. Um, Euro Pros are shipping all day long, um, the beacons, as well as uh, the PoE adapters. So we're shipping healthy. There's a healthy amount of stock that's out there, and we're happy to take care of you. And then when we talk about taking care of you, really what uh, – oh, Jeff, you're awesome. Thank you for that edit. Um, we're really – really doing our best to be able to take care of you. Um, there's a level two tech support that's based out of Austin, Texas. Um, they're there, they wanna talk to you. Um, we've got an 800 number um, that's up on screen right now, as well as um, pro at eero.com. If you've got a question, we wanna be able to help you. And then Jeff came back with another home run edit. The great news is, is that we're also here for your customers. We know that you guys have a lot on your plate right now. There's a lot of installs that are happening um, going on. When you install this product, you're not just installing it and backing it with the warranty from Snap AV. You're also backing it with a warranty that you're going to get lifetime support of the product. Um, I would love lifetime support, but just lifetime support of the product for U.S. and Canada support. And there's a, a great number that's listed there. And that's 877, uh, I'm sorry, 877-659-2347. Just a stellar edit from Jeff. So there's some simple things though that you've made requests on. You know, as we've done counter days, as we've done trainings with you, we truly do listen. Voice of customer is extremely important. You wanted more margin on every single Eero product. You wanted us to be less promotional. Um, gosh, you know, I'm constantly hearing, you know, is it gonna go on sale? Is it not gonna go on sale? Um, that dealer pricing, um, you wanted it to be competitive with what retail promotions are doing um, and, and throughout the year. And the biggest one was, is, you know, if you're a bigger guy and you're listening to this in the car, driving out, we want to help you um, as a volume installer. Also, the other thing that we want to do is if you're here on the call and you're not a large installer, we want to encourage you to look for some new opportunities, both in security, new construction, and, and other areas that are out there. So we're hearing what you're asking for, and that's why we've come back with a really simple, easy strategy. We just took our prices down, we kept our retail values high for your customer, 
And so for the Euro Pro, for the Beacon, and for the PoE adapter, margin on every single one of these products has increased by at least 10%. There's margin in every job without having to wait for promotions. So if you're on the fence, do I buy it now or do I buy it later? You're able to, um, you're able to take care of your customers um, every single day and still make a fair amount of uh, profit on this. In addition to that, though, we want to make sure that you're selling the complete solution. That's the Eero Pro CI and the PoE Plus adapter. This gives you a one cable solution. Um, it gives you wired backhaul, and there's more margin. And what I say by more margin, you're already getting a great price on the Eero products. But when you talk to your customers, you can talk to them about a PoE Plus injector or a switch which means more hard lines throughout the house. We're always, as much as we're talking about Wi-Fi, we wanna talk about dedicated hard lines. But the other thing that it allows you to do is pull some cables, expand the scope of the job, but it gives you a much more clean and professional look. Let's be honest, there's not a lot of custom about plugging something into the wall. But when I take something and install a single gang box up in the ceiling, um, you know, and, and I'm able to provide just a seamless product that I never have to think about again, that's much more, more strong. Now, the, here's the home run and how much we continue to support the Pro Channel. This PoE adapter right now has come down a tremendous amount in price, but we've never put a retail price point. You can't find this on Amazon. You can't find this at Best Buy. You can only find this you know, in distribution and at places like Snap AV. There's no set retail price point. Here in Southern California, for what you're seeing in the upper right-hand corner, I have guys that are regularly installing this per access point at $350 just for the hardware and an additional $150 to $200 uh, for the labor um, and, and the cabling that goes with that. This is a huge profit area for you um, to be able to come into. All right, so new additions to the lineup. Gary, you're actually getting this front and center, the first place that we've rolled this out um, with. So only here at Snap AV um, are you able to, uh, in volume zone, um, MRI, all net, or uh, Custom Plus, are you, you're able to get the, um, the newest information. Towards the end of um, this quarter, so sometime May, June, end of May, early June, you're gonna start to see some contractor packs. And what we've done is we, we took additional feedback from you guys. And what we're doing is I'm gonna take 20 Euro Pros, I'm gonna wrap them individually um, in bubble wrap. I'm gonna put that into a big brown box. Um, and what I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna include a power cord, but I'm gonna encourage you, in fact, I'm, you have to include the PoE Plus adapter. When you buy 20 Euro Pro CIs, in bulk, in one of those big brown boxes, <clears throat> you're gonna wanna have room in the truck. You're also gonna walk out with 20 units of the PoE Plus adapter. Um, and what that's gonna allow you to do is get volume pricing. We're gonna bring that pricing down by an additional $10 on the Euro Pros. You're gonna get a great solution that's gonna reward large installs with even better profit margins, and your customers are gonna be so much more happy because you've got a dedicated single line backhaul that's coming through a clean, easy, easy um, look on the uh, customer and something that's just a true custom, uh, custom experience. All right, so the other thing that we're gonna introduce today is the Eero CI. Um, this is an interesting piece and we've gotten a lot of feedback about, you know, we like what Eero is doing, we like the PoE in the custom area, what do I do for people that are in a smaller environment where there's not a lot of custom? You know, we're talking about a 1,200 to 1,300 square foot house, maybe some slower internet, or they're just, they're folks like my brother. They're just, they're, there's not a huge group of IoT devices that are inside the house. And so what we've done here is we've created something like the Euro Pro, but a little less expensive. We did cut a few features back, but we also made it one of the more affordable mesh products that are out in the marketplace. So what you're getting with the Eero CI is something that's dual band. You're getting something that functions as a gateway, as a leaf, or as a Wi-Fi bridge. So you know if you've got wired desktops or printers or an Xbox, you need to bring a, a bridge in. We can offer a wired solution. The downside is this is always going to be a tabletop placement. There's not a lot of custom aspects to this. 
but it is affordably priced. When we take a look at the three units that are out there, you guys, if you've been in one of my trainings, you know how much I love the Euro Pro. And what the Euro Pro is, is, is literally the Swiss Army knife of, of any install that's out there. If you've got a difficult area that you can't run cable to, then introduce it via mesh, come out of the uh, two RJ45s on the backside, and you've got a hard line connection. If you need a gateway, if you need an access point, um, we, we'd say yes, we work in a mixed environment. If you wanna work you know, half wired, half wireless, we say yes on the Euro Pro. But here's some other exciting things about the uh, product. This is both a tabletop, and as we've been talking about that PoE Plus adapter, it'll allow you to go with a wall mount. It does offer wired connectivity, and we can hit gig speed on the Euro Pro. And that PoE adapter availability, this is the only Euro product that we do that on. What's unique about this product is, is that this is a tri-band product. We're operating at a 2.4, at a 5.2, and a 5.8. And I know that sounds different. A lot of the manufacturers you're, you're working with right now are operating at a 2.4 and a 5.8. That 5.2 really is the magic of what Eero does. Um, this is a dedicated channel so that we can cross communicate between all the other Eero products um, that are out there. It also offers a wireless backhaul on the uh, product. Now, when we take a look at the Eero CI, it does a great job. It does work as a gateway or as an access point. So it is a little bit more flexible than a beacon. Um, but it's only a tabletop mount. There is no PoE Plus or mount available that's out there. You do get that wired connectivity, but there is no PoE. And at the end of the day, this is always going to be a dual band, which means it's going to be a little bit slower that comes through. And of course, you know, the, who doesn't love the beacon? It's probably the easiest install in the custom world. If you've got a hand in a wall socket, um, you know, this is going to be able to directly plug into the uh, wall with that beautiful nightlight that's out there. Again, this is also a dual band product. Um, the beacon does have its place. Um, all right, let's get through common network configurations. You know, at the end of the day, this is where we see these types of things playing casual use. This is somebody like my brother that doesn't have a lot of IOT devices that are out there, really small IOT footprint. He's got a ring doorbell. Um, you know, and, and it's that value add. If I've got a security job and Wi-Fi is horrible or needs an upgrade, this allows you to bring um, really good Wi-Fi in at a lower price point. Um, and then targeting new channels. The other side of that though is that the Euro Pro still remains one of the most flexible pieces that's out there. If you've got an Arachnus webinar, or I'm sorry, an Arachnus router that you really, really like, use that for your head unit and bring Euro in on the backside. If you want a full mesh system throughout the house and the ability to grow, we do that extremely well. And we'll talk about why you want us at the front of your gateway, or I'm sorry, just right, at, right after uh, your modem um, in the next couple of slides. Whew, Jeff, we're going uh, through a, a ton of different slides. Is there any questions that are coming up? And again, if you're not, uh, if you're not using that chat box, you've got access to probably one of the smartest guys in the custom install world. Jeff Miller's out on the East Coast. He's the regional sales manager um, out there. But any decent questions so far, Jeff? So the one question we had um, was that uh, one of the installers uh, couldn't uh, make it work uh, when he was running a PoE Plus adapter and having uh, two of the... Uh, of the ports filled. So he was basically using uh, the Euro Pro as the gateway mounted in the ceiling. Um, and there are some manufacturers who make, uh, you know, right angle or a fully flexible adapter uh, pieces. Um, and there are different things that you can do. One of them uh, is use an adapter from a company called Platinum Tools. It's a non-shielded and it's completely flexible and allows you to kind of hit the angle you need to be able to get uh, the cable underneath our sheath. Uh, the other thing that we've been directing dealers to do is instead of actually using the gateway mounted in the ceiling is to go ahead and use the Eero as the gateway and just use the standard Eero to keep cost down if you need to add another one, but put it wherever the can is or put it wherever the modem is. So that's the question uh, that uh, we had come through so far. But any other questions, I'll be glad to answer them. Awesome. And Jeff, Jeff really does a, a great job with all that product that's out there. I'm sorry, Gary, I'm seeing you um, pop up, I thought, maybe to talk. 
All right, so let's talk a little bit about making work from home work for you. That's the whole reason why we're here and usually taking a long time to get there, but let's uh, let's get into that and, and how truly to take advantage of these times that are out there. You know, the, one of the big things is, is education. Um, that's why you're here today. If you haven't been to the CEDIA website recently, and that's uh, CEDIA.net um, that's out there, they've got a great um, series that are out there. You've got the COVID-19 Resource Center, there's an essential employees guideline that's out there. There's free education, not just from Snap AV, but Cedia does a good job. And actually, Snap AV is, is a partner with Cedia. There's a lot of different webinars, and my favorite is the podcast. You know, if I'm going to be out mowing the lawn, let's kill two birds with the one stone. But if you're looking for additional resources, this is one of those areas that you can go to. Um, I got to tell you, I, you guys are probably in the same boat. We're, Jeff and I are about six weeks into this. Um, into this process most of you are probably a month into it if you had told me when i set up my network three years ago here at the house that i was going to do anything but just some light working from home and occasionally streaming in the evenings um i just said you're that's that's exactly where we're going to go flash forward to a month ago and my wife is a school teacher and, and took it really seriously, knew the kids were at home. Anybody that's, a, that's both an educator at home today and, uh, and a parent and all the other roles that we're filling, my hat's off to you. But my wife is a full-time teacher, um, so she's on the network all the time. Jeff and I, um, right now, we're not essential workers, but you know how we're getting paid right now is in our upload, You know, answering questions for you guys, supporting the channel doing all of that. And then I've got two small kids that are downstairs. They're, they should be doing something school-wise, but they're probably also looking at cartoons. I know my son's definitely checking ESPN every day that's out there, but our customers need better support for network than they've ever done. It's the lifeline for me for groceries. It's the lifeline for me in terms of entertainment. It's the lifeline in terms of two people earning a paycheck and two kids going through. We're more dependent on a network than we've ever been. Um, and good Wi-Fi is essential. Um, the shot here on the right hand side is a buddy of mine. Um, that's Josh and Josh is actually having to do conference calls outside because the coverage on the other side of the house is horrible. So he's set up a trash can just so that he's able to get into a quiet place to attend a webinar, but it has really bad networking. Um, and we're going to try to help him, um, in a big, big way. The, Big advantage here and why Eero should be that go-to solution for you when we talk about work from home right now is, is that any scale, any configuration, Eero is able to work. We say yes where other manufacturers qualify. If you want us in the, um, in the DMZ, we can work. If you want us as an access point, we can work wired or wireless that's out there. But the wireless portion with true meshes is, is the exact answer. Um, you know, we're constantly with Eero Pro looking on that third band for just product mapping um, on you know what are we doing in terms of load shifting what's the quickest path to getting this information going through the wireless backhaul that goes on but true mesh is a category that Eero star mesh is a category that Eero started the really strong point though is the true mesh we're always looking for that self-healing fastest way automatic configuration that allows you to become the chief technology officer for your customers homes that you're installing in one of the questions that we typically get is how many total euros can you deploy at any given time i'm always hesitant with that you know both jeff and i only do custom installation um we don't work in retail we don't work in any other channel so we try to give you guys real world numbers the best real world number that i can give you is a total of 45 euros euro pros um and beacons now that i'm sure there's a mixture of wired and wireless in that configuration, but we've at one point we've done 45 um, units. And then the other question that we get is how many total can I put on? My son is gonna definitely push that envelope this year um, that's out there, but we at one time we've had 676 units on the network um, that's out there. We can handle quite a bit, we can expand rapidly. And then what we're gonna illustrate here shortly is we're going to be able to help you during this period. If you've got customers, if you're busy, we're going to help you get faster. If you've got customers that want limited exposure inside their home, we're going to give you that option. And then the last big option is we're going to give you a path 
to go back to any customer that you've done an Eero install and, and make that even better. Um, the reason to partner with Eero though, is that 91% of our calls get resolved on the uh, first one, on, on the first call. The biggest reason why people call us is because they're interested, they saw it on Facebook, they're seeing it now on YouTube, that's out there. And then we've got the lowest return rate um, in the industry. You know, Jeff ran the numbers and Jeff, what was, what was that over the last three years? It was something sub 150. Um, so we put in 160,000 uh, uh, Eero Pros in the last uh, 18 months that have been activated in, and running. Um, and we had a return uh, RMA rate of 120 units and 64 of them are, uh, came back as no problem found. So I don't even think that's one tenth of 1%. <coughs> think about that if you're returning a competitor's product. I, you know, margin is one thing. The ability to have a product that's out in the field working consistently and eliminate truck rolls is absolutely huge. Thanks, Jeff. All right, so one of the big tools that's out there right now is the ability to manage from Eero. We give this to you for free. The ability to manage every client's network from anywhere that you're out. If you've done the appropriate steps, and we're going to talk about that, but if you've done the appropriate steps and you've gone to pro.ero.com, and again, that's pro.ero.com, um, and registered, taking those same credentials, once you've uh, been accepted on your registration, take those same credentials and put that into the Eero app, so the same email address, the same password, and get your uh, app in agreement with what's going on at pro.ero.com. There's one last website that you can take advantage of, and that's dashboard.ero.com. This is going to give you the ability to um, interface with your clients' networks from a desktop, from a laptop, from a tablet, for, or from a phone. Whether you're, uh, you know, if you've got Wi-Fi or data, you're going to be able to do all of that. We're going to give you the ability to reduce truck rolls in a very, very big, meaningful way. We're going to give you a path for recurring revenue. And then the biggest thing about Eero that you should be loving right now is that we're doing automatic updates. That means that you don't have to roll the truck back, but you can take all the credit for that um, that's out there. We continue to, to update all of our products that are out there um, and advance this in a big way. All right, so if you've done the correct things right now, if you've signed up at pro.ero.com, you've been approved, you take that same registration email, and I know that there's gonna be some problems that come up in the chat box in a second. Give me about five slides, and we can talk about some of those problem-solving areas that are out there. But if you've been to pro.ero.com, done it the correct way, taken those same credentials and logged that into your app, and I want you to stay on this path and this journey with me. One of the great things about deploying Eero is, is that it can be done from a phone. You're not having to take in a laptop or a tablet, and it's very, very simple. Simply identify what's going on inside the customer's home. Now, the beauty of this is during this period, you don't need to be inside the customer's house at all. We can set these networks up. Um, we can set these networks up um, before I even deploy if I'm doing it through the app on my phone and I've got a direct connection into the modem at the house. All right, so let me take you through those steps. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through all the standard steps. We're gonna unplug the old modem, the old router. We're gonna connect the Eero to the modem and then we're gonna plug that in just step by step. And I know that you guys have gone through that um, and done that. We're gonna connect via Bluetooth from your phone um, to the Eero that you're deploying. Now here's the quick pro tip. If you've got an older phone, I don't care if it's an iPhone, if it's a uh, Android phone, if it's a flip phone, we're gonna have problems. But if it's an Android or an iPhone um, that's out there, we're gonna connect via Bluetooth and make that initial connection when we're setting up the gateway. Before we connect to the internet, we're gonna connect via Bluetooth just to make that initial deal. If you've got a set of headphones on, if you've got a Bluetooth headset on, make sure that your phone can do multiple Bluetooth connections or better yet, just turn it off for a split second. Just turn your Bluetooth headset off. It's gonna take you less than five minutes to get this set up. Once the, your phone and the app connect over to the Eero, we're gonna name this um, device. And this is where we're gonna start to go through and set the Eero up the first time. We're gonna create the network. We're gonna set the password. 
pro tip have have a worksheet when you talk to your customers um you know if we're talking to them on the phone if we're talking via email but find out what the ssid is or better yet use you know any of the tools that are out there you know use fang let's establish how many units are connecting to the network in the house right now let's make sure that we understand what the uh, current ssid and the current passwords are the pro tip is take the exact same ssid that's inside the house right now take the exact same um ssid that's inside the house right now and then we're going to uh um, deploy the same password once all that's done the beauty of this is, is that the gateway has been established. You can do this from your home and then send the product to the customer or you've just shortened the time of install inside your customer's house. When we talk about, I'm sorry, let me go back. It's gonna ask you for, um, actually we've got all of that, so we're good. You just wanna make sure then the quick pro tip, once the network's been installed, Put that product back into the box, take a nice big piece of um, painter's tape, put that over the top of the box and write gateway. This is the product that's been set up. Now we can continue through and we can do access points. I like just setting up the gateway and then walking into the customer's house or sending the product over. Once everything is said and done though, the big thing that we're missing here is the ability to transfer the network. And this is how you know that you haven't done this correctly on the app. You haven't been to pro.ero.com um, and registered, or you haven't done it correctly, um, or more importantly, you haven't taken those same credentials and put it into the app. And again, I've got some problem solving um, capabilities for you in just a second. But at the end of the install, once everything's set up and done, we want to transfer that network over to our customers. Everything that I'm going to show you going forward on the dashboard is only possible if you transfer your networks. Now look, I, I get it. You know, you've got somebody like my dad that you're installing for and he's not real technical and whatnot. Take their phone from them. Um, accept the transfer, go through. I also get it. I've got a customer that's not there. Set this up with the housekeeper, the property manager, whoever else. But let's make sure that we're protecting ourselves um, legally by transferring the network, but more importantly, let's set ourselves up for some remote capability. Once the network is transferred, um, you're gonna get a, a quick pop-up. So we're gonna put in all the customer's information. You're gonna get a pop-up. Are you sure you wanna transfer this over? And then you're gonna get that network transfer confirmation done. If you've got a phone right now with 10, 15, 20 networks on your phone, this is not the correct way, and you're setting yourself up for some heartaches, yes, Today, you're able to do a handful of things, but I'm gonna show you some things that you're truly missing um, on this capability. One of the big reasons why transferring the network is important, there's no device anxiety. Um, there's remote management. But the biggest thing is, is that transferring this allows you to do so much more um, and expand um, your capabilities. A, you've got a record of who you've installed for, the ability for follow-up sales, but the ability to set up some reoccurring revenue for you at the end of the day. This is a huge, huge thing that you guys need to embrace that's out there. Now, look, Jeff is probably going through, I'm giving him up an opportunity to talk. Hey, you know, I, I've got, you know, these potential problems. I don't have, you know, the email that I put in has changed or the phone number is out there. I don't see transfer network or the invite doesn't work. Jeff, are you getting any questions like that? Uh, right now, no. Okay. So if you haven't been to pro.ero.com to register, the rest of this is gonna be very, very difficult. Please make sure that this is occurring and that the app is set up correctly um, across. All right, so if this is all done, I can go into uh, dashboard.ero.com at any given time, um, and I can see just a quick reference on what is, um, what's going on inside my network. I can see quickly um, who's online, who's offline, and I can see any of the pending networks um, that need to, uh, to be set up. Um, the other thing that I can do is I can quickly go in and I can see my customer's um, information. I can see, this is actually Jeff, I can see the home identifier. I can do this by job number. I'm not sure how you guys do your jobs. I either have a job number, I'll uh, code by phone number or by uh, address. Phone number tends to work well. I can identify who their ISP is. So if a customer calls and says, hey, we've got problems with the network, I can quickly just Google, hey, you know, Jeff is out 
in the Pennsylvania market or in the Ambler market, I can do a down detector as Verizon having any issues. The other really big thing that goes on here is I can run a speed test. Um, you know, these tests run about every day and a half to two days, but I can immediately run a speed test and see what's going on with Jeff's network. But the biggest, biggest thing for me is the ability to reboot that network. When we talk about rebooting the network, this means that I don't have to roll a truck. Here in California, especially in Southern California, I ran the numbers early on. It's $58, $58 for you to, to get into the truck, turn the ignition over, and before you even back it out and sit in traffic, it's $58 based on insurance, bonded costs, everything else that, that goes on with that. It's $58. And nine out of 10 times, the first thing that I do when I walk into a customer's house and they tell me that they're having problems is, um, you know, I, I turn it off and I turn it back on. This is going to give me that ability here to do that remotely. And again, this is on dashboard.ero.com. You want to make sure that you're transferring these networks over. The other thing that I can do with the network is, is I can go through and I can check all the different access points and the gateway. I can see what the signal strength is right now in the master bedroom because it's a wired connection. I can make sure that the firmware updates are done um, across. And then in the upper right hand corner, this is a money maker for you. And I just literally had this happen two days ago. Customer that uh, somebody had installed for had a great Euro system. And then all of this changed. He's now got an office um, in his garage. And when we were deploying wireless throughout the house, no one ever thought for a split second, maybe we should do something in the garage. Now it makes a lot of sense. All of us are streaming, things like that. But literally, this guy needs internet to be able to make that do. All his installer had to do was go to the upper right hand side of his customer, right there where it says add. And with remote networking now, he can go into any Volutone, order the product, receive the product, pick it up or have it shipped to the house, pick it up right out of the uh, box. And I'm sorry, I'm saying uh, Volutone, but Custom Plus is in that same realm, All Nets in that same realm, MRI. Take the product out of the box, flip it over, use the serial number on the unit, not on the box. Type in that serial number, put the location down, and I have a multitude of choices now. I can mail the customer the product. I can send a low-level guy over, or I personally can go over um, as well. All the customer needs to do is plug that in, and it's pre-populated because we've already set up the gateway and everything else. This is a huge resource. If you're looking for additional ways to interact with your customers, if you're looking for additional business, go back and contact anybody. And I don't care if it's if it wasn't a Nero system go back and find out how your customers you've done an install in the last two years just do a quick check how is the internet working any questions any problems anything that we can do they trust you they've had you in your in in their house before they want to hear from you um that's out there let's check on what networking is doing and if you've got an euro system let's make sure that that transfer was done correctly but more importantly let's see if there's some opportunity for some incremental sales that come across so some of the top features of remote network management, you're getting that dashboard to view network health, you're getting the ability to reboot the network remotely, we're able to do speed tests that are out there. But it's so much more than just the typical things and here's why I want you to transfer these networks and do it on the dashboard as opposed to on the phone. If you're looking for IP reservation, port forwarding, um, or the ability to delete any of those that you've done, if you wanna see current IP activity, by device, by MAC address, I give you that ability um, that's out there. I can see what the devices are connecting at, where they're connecting at, all through dashboard. These are things that you can't do through the app, or if you can, you're gonna do it in a really small, compact, non-meaningful way that's out there. So the big question is, where do we go from here? Um, where do we go from here? If you're an existing dealer, I want you to go to pro.ero.com and just make sure that everything's up and running. The fastest way to do that is to go to dashboard.ero.com. If you're new to this, we want you to go to pro.ero.com um, and, and take advantage of that as well. For your installers, some key things to think about when you're talking about Eero, we're talking about Snap AV and the partnership that Eero has with Snap AV. There are dedicated product lines here for the Pro Channel. We give you the ability to create and add networks remotely. Um, through the app or through the dashboard, if, we, if it's an existing customer, 
utilizing the uh, dashboard for an existing customer that's out there. You're getting free remote network monitoring and you know, another time, another place we should talk. But if you have questions about how to monetize that, that's a big in era. That's an easy, easy question. The level two tech support is incredible. That as Jeff had pointed out, that is just for you. Um, not for your customers. We do have lifetime support via customer service on email and phone, and there is a different phone number for your customers on that, and then all the automatic updates that are out there being deployed. Who can I contact with more questions? This is a perfect time for you guys to grab your phone, start taking pictures, <clears throat> or to start writing some of this down. You can always go to pro at hero.com. <clears throat> this is where the true magic is going to happen in text that can help you in a big way. 1-866-754-7286. 1-866-754-7286. I'm going to come to Jeff in just a second um, on this, but or I'm sorry, I'm going to go through Jeff's contact information as well. But Jeff, any any good questions come up? Anybody have any interesting insights? Anything that I missed, more importantly? No, I, we've answered everything, and, and I'm sure you know. You know, if they're like me, once this calls over, they're going to have the best question of all time. So they can always reach out to us, and we'll get back to them. You know, with the answers. They do a great job. So Jeff is on the uh, West Coast. Uh, I'm sorry, Jeff is on the West Coast. I wish Jeff was on the West Coast. Jeff is on the East Coast and handles the Upper Midwest, um, and that's why he's a bright guy. Jeff is a uh, Jeff M at Aero.com. I'm here on the West Coast in the Southern Midwest. Um, great. Uh, edit there, Pete at Eero.com. Never a bad time to get a hold of us, but again, the true experts are at pro at Eero.com and that great phone number as well. Um, look, our goal here is to have all of you guys managing as much of this remotely as you can. Um, Pete, Jeff and I both. Oh, sorry. That slide. Okay, we want you to, to feel empowered about working remotely. You can set this product up from the app and spend a minimal amount, minimal amount of time in the customer's house. You can install the product or set the product up and then send it to the customer, walk them through once the gateway's been established and is good to go. There's a variety of different aspects that are out there. Snap AV um, has the solutions that you're looking for. Well, any of the four branches, Volutone, Custom Plus, Allnet, um, or MRI do an absolutely uh, fantastic job. Um, for you. It looks like we've got a handful more questions coming in. So I'm going to stall for a quick sec. Gary, I, I think we're, we're going through and we've talked quite a bit about remote networking and everything else. Um, any quick plugs, teases, anything else that we can? No, guys, um, I do have specials. And so, you know, most of you, I actually saw the, the register earlier today. A lot of all net customers um, were all working together, as Pete suggests, as, as, a, as a networked distributor uh, alliance, if you will. Um, and and we, we try to align our pricing the same. I know I've got some specials, so check the Volutone site, you guys. Um, and uh, another note, uh, you don't have to take pictures. I'm gonna send all this stuff to you guys later on tonight. So if that one golden question comes through, uh, hit us back on the email, because all the contact information, all the whole slide deck, as well as this recorded video will be sent to you in your inbox. Try to get it done by about four o'clock. Just takes a long time for the video to, uh, to uh, process. Well, process that. All right, let's answer some questions. So, you know, probably one, I think Jeff's answering some questions right now. Probably one of the most easily asked questions right now is, you know, what do you say no to um, that's out there? Or where, you know, what's the prescribed way of going through? Um, you know, look, if you've got a customer that really loves overseas, put an Arachnus head unit in and then come back in with the Eero um, mesh wireless as the access points um, again and again. We're, we're flexible um, in that regard. If you're looking for a true mesh experience throughout the house, um, you know, we can work in that configuration. The other questions that we typically get, and you know, I'm seeing a whole bunch of Q&A um, starting to come up. The other, uh, the other questions that come up is, you know, wired or wireless, you know, and we are a wireless company, but I'd be a fool to tell you um, that the uh, that wire doesn't have its place. I want you to pull cabling um, that's out there for a variety of different purposes. In my wife's um, instance, it's it's a requirement for a job just because she's dealing with small kids. There's there's got to be that level of security um, that goes on. So um, let, me, let me go yeah. through some of these questions. 
Yep. All right. Uh, so uh, uh, Johnny Davy had a question about the difference between the Euro and the Euro Pro. Um, it, it's more than just the third radio. There's additional antennas and there's larger range of square footage that the device will cover. Um, we also have no plans to go ahead and, and make a PoE adapter for the, uh, for the product. Um, it just doesn't make sense with the low cost. Um, it's really designed for to compete with the true entry-level retail mesh products, but giving you a product that you can remote network manage. Um, if you need to install a PoE, please use the Euro Pro. Um, outdoor access point. This is one of the biggest hot buttons that we consistently hear. Understand that besides the two jacks on the back of it, the Ethernet jacks and the USB-C power, the Eero Pro is a completely sealed chassis. You can go ahead and put it into a all weather housing, <clears throat> or if you're in a warm weather climate where there's a lot of outdoor living, you have you know covered patios and that, cut it in, use PoE, use the USB-C. You can go ahead and if you shield it from the sun and the rain, you're fine. If you put it in all weather housing, um, as long as it's not in direct sunlight, we'll still warranty it for the full amount. And we have lots of dealers in Florida and California and other places doing this. Um, our owner even has the Euro uh, first generation sitting on his dock in Lake Michigan. And it's been out there for two plus years and it's still working. So you don't have to worry about extreme temperature swings. Just keep it out of direct sunlight because it's UL rated product and direct sunlight will kind of go ahead and mute that. Um, orientation mount. Um, no, Eero's cloud-based, so it doesn't matter when you put it on tabletop, ceiling mount, wall mount. Um, if you use the PoE um, adapter, Eero will automatically know to switch its orientation because it communicates back to our cloud that those two pieces are joined. Um, when it's just sitting by itself on a table mount, it's designed to radiate out, and it's going to measure this pattern spread against what a, a perfect Eero is designed to do. And over the span of a day, we'll self-correct. Over the span of a week, it'll be at premium uh, performance. Uh, there, uh, there are uh, dealer uh, pricing on the Euro CI. Please uh, contact your SNAP manager, um, and they will go ahead uh, and, uh, and do that uh, for pricing. They can go ahead and get your pricing on that. Um, Final question is, can you use Eros in hotels? As long as they don't require a jump page for you to get on the network, we don't allow jump pages. A lot of hotels want to be able to capture the email and make sure the guest is there. We don't do that. Now, you could use us in bridge mode just as the access points and use um, something like an Arachnus or a package router to be able to do that. Um, for high-level parental control, um, Unfortunately, I don't know what high level parental control means. With our Eero Plus, which is available to your customers, um, they can sign up for it. In fact, they'll get 30 days free if they sign up. Um, we do a pretty good job of filtering by violent adult, um, as well as illegal content by device. Um, the parents just need to go into it. You can also go ahead and if you've done remote network management, you can go ahead and add those filters on for the customer. Hey, Jeff, Jeff, my, my mom had a big wooden spatula that she yeah. called higher level parental control. Yeah. Yeah. No, my, my, my mom used to basco sauce when I got saucy. <laughs> nice. So. Wow. We've had some really good questions come through. Um, you know, I, I'm seeing quite a bit. Um, thank you for the uh, smile there. Um, lots of really good questions coming through. We'd love to answer every single one of these. Um, just not, not enough time to, to be able to get through, but lots of really good stuff. Please reach out. Jeff, do you want to do one more or? Um, I think I've got them all. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, Eero Pro always seems to be hot to the touch. Uh, if it's in a cabinet, will it overheat? So, um, our engineers spent a lot of time designing this product. Um, the Eero is going to run warm, uh, both units. Um, they have major heat sinks in there. Um, would I put it in a cabinet and have a shelf like like an inch above it with no ventilation? It can possibly overheat, but the majority of the time, no. We, we have Eros installed all over the place, and 
we get very, very, very rarely get one back that had any heat issues. But like anything else, use your best judgment. You're a professional installer. Try to you know, give it a little bit of ventilation. But if it feels hot to the touch, that's normal. That's just how they run. Hey, guys, Johnny, uh, Johnny Davies just asking me. He's got a couple questions unanswered. Uh, Johnny, I see uh, for the big network question, do all the processing happen on the main Eero router or is processing shared between multiple Eros? You guys get to that? Uh, didn't see that one, but uh, no, processing is shared between all of the Eros. Everything uh, goes through all the Eros. They go ahead and judge, and what will happen is the system uses a point-to-point -point communication opposed to a hub and a spoke. So um, everything will be able to be, if one of the Eros is being bombarded with network congestion, it will automatically hand it off. So now you can have multiple Eros and, and have a perfect level of Wi-Fi throughout the house, all similar speed as you go through. That's the beauty of Eero. Um, the other question uh, that he had was regarding Control 4. Um, control 4, uh, and we can't answer why they have us on the do not uh, use list. Um, that's up to Control 4. We get this all the time. We've reached out to them, and the best thing to do is to contact Control 4 um, and go through that way. Um, I don't work for Control 4. I can't answer Control 4, um, but we do know that we have lots of dealers um, that sell control for um, and use our product. There was actually a really good one, um, you know, Jeff, that came up. So uh, can you comment more on putting Arachnus in front of the Euro system? Uh, wow, Johnny, lots of questions today. Um, here, I'll take a handful, Jeff. Uh, the Arachnus router in front of an Euro system. Yeah, you know, look, if you've got a system that you like, if you've got a router that you like, you know, the, the downside, I, I'm just going to talk about the downside. If you're wanting the remote network capability, um, so the trade-off, Johnny, is if you if you want remote network capability, Euro's got to be between the cable modem and the, and the switch um, that's there. We need to be the, the head unit, and that gives you the access then for, for remote network management. However, if you're just looking for good, reliable access points, but, you know, but you love the process with Oversee, this is the, the area to go through. Johnny, you get some great questions. Um, let's dismiss that. Any issues with Savant? Haven't heard anything. We haven't done a lot. Um, and again, you know, just trying to be respectful to everything that can, uh, that Snap AV is doing. All right, sales tips on clients, and this is actually Gary going to be my last one. Okay, and, guys. And one of the best, this is probably the best question to end on um, that's out there. What sales tips do you say for a client that says, "I'll wait for Wi-Fi 6"? Um, I'm going to answer it. And I'm going to let Jeff come in and answer as well. I, I'm still waiting for Wi-Fi 6 products at my house, personally, um, that's there. I am shopping for a printer. My printer gave up the ghost. There's, I don't have a printer that takes advantage of Wi-Fi 6 right now. Um, my next cell phone, um, probably going to be at least six months to 10 months, you know, a year down the line. I get building in some future connectivity um, that's out there. The other part of it is, is I'm not convinced. Um, I'm not convinced I need it for for my environment, but that's just mine. So, sales tips right now, um, I, Jeff. I'm gonna it's, punt. It, yeah, it's 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 very simple. Your your customers don't. The majority of the products they have, the the only products right now that really have the Wi-Fi six are able to take care of it, are the latest versions of the iPhone, the latest versions of the iPad Pro. Um, the latest version of the MacBook Pro and the new uh, Samsung Galaxy phones that just came out. So for those devices to basically require, you know, having to upgrade, that's a discussion you should have with your customer. Um, we will have, you know, um, announcements on a Wi-Fi 6 product later this year because we know that um, it's become a hot button. But there really isn't anything to take advantage of it. And all the benefits and speed that they're touting, your customer's internet backbone from their ISP isn't there yet. And all the devices that you know, can take advantage of Wi-Fi 6 don't have the chipset and it's not software upgradable. It is a brand new expensive hardware chipset that has to be in both the access point and in the um, in the device itself. Um, but if you run into it, you know, we'd be glad to give you, you know, with your customer specific, you know, question or concerns, you can always drop us a line and we'll help you craft an answer that will help you overcome that objection. 
We're always here to help. We try. We really, uh, we really, truly try. Um, look, y'all are a special bunch of folks that are out there. I appreciate you taking the time to make an investment in yourself, make an investment on your future installs. We're the brand that wants to say yes, and we're the brand that wants to help as much as we can. We just want you to love Wi-Fi. You know, Wi-Fi is so simple that you never have to think about it again. Um, it's a great, great product, and uh, we're open for comments and questions and emails um, after this uh, goes on. So, Gary, we'll, we'll send it back to you. All right, guys. Thank you so much for your time. Uh, my panelists were excellent today. Jeff, great working with you. Pete, one of my best friends. Thank you guys so much. Uh, let's continue the conversation. You will get an email from me with this entire recording later on tonight. Um, and beyond that, I want to remind you of, hey, a really cool webinar I'm running tomorrow with, uh, with Snap AV and Derek Webb doing Oversee. I did it yesterday. Great class. We went on 90 minutes on that. That starts 9 a.m. Pacific time. And then I'll do Just Add Power on Friday. So please join us if you have the time. We'd love to have you. Love to have your questions. Guys, from all of us, at uh, Snap AV, MRI, CPD, Allnet, Custom Plus, and Volutone. We thank you for your time, guys. Be safe out there, okay, guys? See you later.